Hello guys, do you remember the lithium ferrophosphate cell which I've tested recently? Yeah, I'm talking about QB26650-2500. Today I'm gonna show you the second model of lithium ferrophosphate from Queen Battery, QB26650-2300. It's a 2300 mAh rated cell of 26650 size which supports continuous discharge at up to 46 amps and 92 amp discharge during one second. The other specs are similar to the 2500 mAh cell. Its charge and voltage is 3.65 volts and discharge cutoff voltage is as low as 2 volts. I'm gonna test it and compare it to the 2500 mAh model at 5, 10 and 20 amps. And also I'll compare them to the A123 systems ANR26650 and 1B grade A and grade B cells at 20 amp discharge. Let me now remind you my testing conditions and move to the capacity test results. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZKE Tech EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've upgraded my battery holder to the version 3.0. I have made contact pads from 0.5 mm pure copper sheet. The positive terminal is 9 mm wide and the width of negative terminal is 11.5 mm. The pads are designed to provide good connection even with batteries which have deep placed positive or negative contacts. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The surrounding air temperature was 20-25 centigrees and before each discharging cycle the battery was charged at its standard charging current which is mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left for one hour minimum as the standard requires. After this charging cycle the battery was again left for one hour minimum. I buy my batteries from Queen Battery which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. You can find a link to their website and their sales manager's email in the description under this video. As you maybe have noticed, the new models from Queen Battery don't carry much information on their heat shrink tubes. This cell isn't an exception. Its heat shrink tube shows only the model number, nominal capacity and nominal voltage. It has the following specs according to its datasheet. Typical capacity 2300 mAh at one c discharge. Minimum capacity Again, 2300 mAh at 1C discharge. Nominal voltage, 3.2 volts. Charge and voltage, 3.65 volts. Standard charge current, 2.3 amps. Charge cutoff current, 46 mA. Cell surface temperature during charging, from 0 to 45 centigrade. Discharge cutoff voltage, 2 volts. Cell surface temperature during discharging, from minus 20 to 60 centigrade. Maximum continuous discharge current, 46 amps. Maximum short pulse discharge, 92 amps. AC impedance, less than 10 milliohms. Weight, 86 grams. Cycle life. After 1000 cycles at 2.3 amp charge, 2.4 amp discharge, the capacity should be more than 1840 milliamp hours, which is equal to 80% of initial capacity. The measured weight of my cell was 85.8 grams. The diameter was 26.7 mm and it was 65.2 mm long. The DC internal resistance measured at 2.3 amps in fully charged condition was around 6.1 mOhm. Now let's look at the results of capacity tests of QB26650-2300. At 0.2C or 0.46 amps the result was 2864 mAh or 9254 mWh. At 5 amp discharge. 2721 mAh or 8575 mWh. At 10 amps, 2714 mAh or 8357 mWh. At 15 amps, 2709 mAh or 8196 mWh. At 20 amp discharge, it gave out 2714 mAh or 8082 mWh. Pay attention to the curves, most of the time they stay above 3 volts even at 20 amp discharge, and the capacity doesn't go below 2700. It's something very unusual because we are talking about a 2300 mAh rated cell. Now let's compare the 2300 mAh rated cell at 5, 10 and 20 amps 
with the 2500 QB26650, which costs twice more. In all three tests, the 2300 cell is the better one, so let's look at the difference. At 5 amp discharge, the difference was 141 mAh in capacity and 470 mWh in energy. At 10 amp discharge, the difference raised to 162 mAh in capacity and 519 mWh in energy. At 20 amps, it went down to 157 mAh in capacity and 489 mWh in energy. Do you remember the A123 systems ANR26650 M1B grade A and grade B cells I've tested? They are lithium ferrophosphate cells rated at 2500 mAh and support continuous discharge at up to 70 amps and up to 120 amp pulse discharge. The 2500 mAh QB cells continuous discharge rate is limited by 50 amps, but the pulse discharge can be a bit higher, 125 amps. A123 system cells charge and voltage is 3.6 volts, while clean battery cells can be charged up to 3.65 volts, which is the standard supported by the majority of BMS systems. The discharge cutoff voltage is the same 2 volts for all cells. Now let's compare them at 20 amp discharge. The 2300 QB cell is way ahead of all three competitors both by numbers and by the beauty of its curve. Its capacity is above 2700 mAh, while the closest competitor, the grade B ANR26650 M1B, doesn't reach even 2600 mAh. In terms of energy, the closest is the 2500 mAh rated QB cell which showed almost 76 mWh, while its 2300 mAh rated brother showed almost 8100. I think there is no need to announce the winner, the picture is more than clear. So, what can I say at the end of the day? QB26650-2300 is not just a very good cell, it's a fantastic cell which could be sold as a 2800 mAh one. Just think about it. Its real capacity is 500 million powers or 22% higher than declared. It doesn't go close to 2300 million powers even at 20 amp discharge, remaining above 2700 million powers. And the final advantage is its price, which should be the half of the 2500 million power cells and one third of the price of A123 system cells. To check the actual price, drop an email to the supplier. I'm not selling them. That's all I was going to tell you about this guy. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to like it and share it to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to receive notifications about new videos on my channel. Bye bye!